The first change is to transition the current OER from a one-size-fits-all report to three different evaluation reports based on grade. One for company grade officers, second lieutenant through captain, and including warrant officer one through chief warrant officer two. A second for field grade officers, majors through lieutenant colonel, and including chief warrant officer three through chief warrant officer five. And a third for strategic leaders in the ranks of colonel and brigadier general. These three forms will evaluate officers based on the expectations of performance and potential for their grade. These new forms will link an officer's performance to the attributes and competencies outlined in Army Doctrine Reference Publication, ADRP 6-22, Army Leadership. The OER support form is also being revised to better align with ADRP 6-22. This should be treated as a separate tool for developing and counseling officers. It will apply to all officers up to and including the grade of colonel and will become a mandatory form for documenting counseling. The Chief of Staff of the Army asks us to look at methods to strengthen rating chain accountability. As a result, revisions to regulatory guidance will include language to assist the rating chain with meeting this goal. The updated policy strengthens accountability and streamlines our rating chains improving relationships between rated officers and the leaders who have first-hand knowledge of their responsibilities, performance, and potential. The new regulation will also mandate that rating schemes be approved by the next higher command. Intermediate raters will only be included in a rating chain when the rated officer is in one of our special branches, AMED, JAG, or Chaplain, or in a dual supervisory situation. The next change is the establishment of a rater profile similar to today's senior rater profile for company and field grade reports. The addition of future operational, broadening, and strategic assignment recommendations on the revised OER will assist assignment managers in the identification and management of talent. The revisions to the OER will change how we define the senior rater box, but keep the existing rationale for rendering an OER on a rated officer. The four box check option will continue for lieutenant colonel and below. The rater assessment will focus on performance and the senior rater's focus will be on potential.